Hi, uh, I'm Jen. Uh, I've been in the university campus for over 15 years because both of my parents are university professors. So this is a picture of my family. As many of the Asian parents, my parents always support my education and encourage me to pursue the higher level of it. So I went to the best elementary school, best uh, middle school, best high schools, and the second best college in my city because I was so stressed and kind of failed in my college entrance examination. Anyway, I went to the college with a major in English translation, and during my junior year, I got a part-time job in an educational company as an English tutor and help students with the English language standardized tests, such as like TOEFL and IELTS. That's the first time for me to realize that I like to help people with my abilities and skills. And I think I want to be a language teacher. Uh, this is me and my friends at the college graduation day. Then after my college graduation, since I feel I need more knowledge about teaching, I applied to the master program of foreign language education at University of Pittsburgh. As a first time international student, everything is so new and challenging to me. I don't know a lot of things like how to switch to a different class or how to appropriately submit my updates to the immigration office. Uh, but luckily, I got a lot of help from the university's international student's office. I remember one of the staff there, his name is Richard. He was so, he was so knowledgeable and patient with me through my, through my studies there. Uh, I remember him always replying to my emails very quickly and even scheduled several physical meetings with me to discuss about my uh, specific problems. With the help of people like him, I was smooth on the graduation from Pitt. This is me at like, the building of School of Education. At the same time, uh, I started my career as a language teacher. I've been teaching Chinese as a uni as a U uh, sorry. I've been teaching Mandarin Chinese in the US, uh, as well as teaching English as a foreign language to the students in China and Thailand. Uh, here are the pictures of me and my students. Then last year, one was working as a Mandarin teacher at IMG Academy. One day, a Chinese girl, a Chinese girl came to me and asked me for help. She was new there, she had a problem she had a problem getting his campus ID card uh, and she didn't know who she should go and ask for help. Then, then I, bought, I brought her to the enrollment office and helped her with some simple translations and, and then she got his like, ID card. At that moment, he reminded me of my, of my own struggling with like, the huge differences between the US and the China's educational systems and she also made me uh, think about what I could do to make this transition easier. So here I am uh, in the higher aid program at Loyola, though I came to the higher aid field kind of by accident. My motivation never changes, that's how I always want to help people. Just as Richard helped me with updating to the US educational systems, I wish I could assist more international students with a difficult transition and make it easier. I'm starting this program because I wish to know uh, how I could help other students as I help the girl at IMG. And my ultimate goal is to help students who get used to their university life uh, more easily, uh, focus more efficiently on their academic studies and excel in their future careers. This is my path to the higher aid and thank you for listening.